Hello and welcome to Barcelona and to our Arm Tech Talks live from Mobile World Congress 2024. I'm your host, Tobias McBride, and all week, together with some of our incredible Arm partners, I'm going to be bringing you a glimpse at some of the groundbreaking Arm innovations at this show. This Arm Tech Talk series really is the place for you to discover the latest trends, technologies, and best practices from the Arm ecosystem. So welcome, welcome back if you're a regular viewer of the series, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm super excited about what this week has in store for Arm and our ecosystem. We're live every single day, bringing Mobile World Congress to you at home or at work or wherever you are around the world. Our partners are showcasing some of the latest developments on what is the world's most pervasive and efficient compute architecture, one that 70% of the world's population uses. That, of course, is ARM. And we are going to be highlighting some of the incredible ARM-powered use cases here at MWC. Now, yesterday, if you had a chance to tune into our ARM Tech Talks, we heard from NEC all about their VRAN solution that's built on ARM. And today and throughout the week, as I say, we've got some really exciting talks lined up, and I can't wait to hear from them. But let's get to today. You may have seen an announcement recently a few months ago by Nokia and HPE with ARM on Nokia's VRAN solution being made available on HPE powered by ARM technology. Well, today we're on HPE's booth at MWC, and it's not just me who's here. I'm delighted to be joined by two people who can talk a bit more about the solutions and this demo behind us. Let's welcome them in. We've got Thomas Barnett from Nokia and Miko Sapilia from HP. Come on in, guys. Thomas, hey, Thomas. welcome. Nice you. Thank you so much. Hey, nice to, nice meet, to meet, you. meet you. Thank you so much for doing today's Arm Tech Talk. So, oh, bless her. you know, it's been a really, really busy show yesterday for us. How was it for you guys, Miko, first and foremost? Uh, it was great, great. Lot of interest, good action at the booth. Really love it. So it's it's been. A, this is really vibing today. So is, I could only imagine it what it was like yesterday. Yeah. And Thomas, how about yourself? Yeah, I can only echo what uh, Miko said. You know, that was actually already a lively day yesterday. Already, you know, we had a lot of, uh, you know, uh, customers at our boost. You know, where we can actually already show, you know, the collaborative advantages in this uh, cloud run context. Absolutely, absolutely. You keep the microphone. Okay. That's for your, that's yours right. to keep. <laughs> so we spoke about that announcement I just mentioned, right? And yeah. we're going to get to the demo in a second, just behind us. Don't worry. Uh, and we've talked about VRAN a bit this week. We talked about Open RAN already. I'd love to hear, Thomas, from your side, what's, what's Nokia's approach to, to VRAN, the inline acceleration architecture, and how does it contribute to the evolution of, of 5G networks? Hey, to, to be honest, this is an excellent question, right? So um, actually, we talk about uh, 5G Cloud Run, right, in context of our AnyRun uh, concept, right? And that was already launched actually last year already. But now, um, should I say, we are kicking it off, and um, you know, we are making it even more stronger this year because we would like to make CloudRun commercial reality awesome. right, throughout yeah. 2024, right? Together and with HPE, using the collaborative advantages, you know, with HPE, but then also in combination you know, with our smart NIC card, you know, the hardware acceleration. I think we'll come to that one in a couple of minutes, but not only limited to it, right? It's of course then based on this uh, ARM technology. I mean, the server technology, right? And we are combining it, you know, with our application software, 5G application software, which is cloud native. Yep. And not to forget in combination, you know, with our network monitoring network management system. That's awesome. That's a really exciting solution. We are going to get into a bit more of. And Miko, on your side, let's talk about HPE, right? We're obviously a, a great partner in this solution that we're going to hear about. Yes. How do you address the need for these flexible architectures within the within the cloud RAN space? Well, the cloud RAN is, is kind of a, it's an, one application in the in the edge. It's an important one. It's a leading edge, but it's only one application. But with openness, we can. What HP brings, we can bring a lot of other innovative applications to the edge, and that kind of secures the uh, kind of continuous innovation and flow of new ideas at the edge. And and that's really what HP brings to the, uh, uh, the table. Uh, from a pure technology perspective, we try to keep our platforms as open as possible. Uh, so the different CPU architectures can be managed under the same umbrella. So that's how uh, I think the architecture remains open. Awesome. Well, we're going to talk. Let's talk about the uh, the ARM technology you're doing here and the demo here. So to do that, we're going to switch cameras. Just give me one second while I do that. And let's get to the demo. All righty. We're now on our mobile camera. Uh, so why don't you talk us through the demo first and foremost, and we'll look at the ARM technology inside. Right. So what we have here is a HP Nokia joint uh, 
Trade Card Run demo running on uh, HPL L, RL300 ARM based system. So it runs on the uh, runs on the Ampere CPU. So on the Ampere ARM based Ampere, CPU, yes. right? Uh, so let us get started. So as we said, running on RL300 Ampere ARM based CPU with Nokia Ringline adapter. So I think this is a good picture to show what we are actually uh, demonstrating here. So it's an end-to-end -end L3 call uh, utilizing Nokia applications, VDU, CU, uh, which is accelerated by Nokia's unique Cloud Run Smart NIC, and that's mm -hmm. all running on the ARM uh, CPU over here. Uh, so, but let us get started. So uh, we saw how it's all done. So, uh, Thomas, here you go. Yeah, hey, um, you know what we can see here is actually our site in Dallas. That looks and, really cool. Uh, like that's really it. cool, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, if you would ask me, you know, how long did it, did it take, you know, in order to make the solution happen, you know, I would say, hey, we did it in record times, as you can see. You know, we all have the experts on site, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, dismantling here a bit the, the server technology in order to insert the layer one NIC card, right, for, uh, the hardware acceleration card, exactly, which is shown here also on the left hand side of the booth. But um, in order to make it short, um, you know, in record times, we were able to establish an end-to-end an -end call, an end-to-end -end data call, you know, in a, in a 5G TDD standalone environment based on HP service, ARM technology, system on chip, our inline card, you know, and we achieved remarkable results. And I think we will see that later on again, yeah. you know, in, 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 in terms of um, uplink and downlink performance, right? So around about 90 megabit per second in uplink and more than one gigabit per second in downlink already. Wow. So that was really, really remarkable. Absolutely, absolutely. Now let's take a look, as you say, we'll take a look at some of those figures in a second. And we've actually got the, uh, the Ampere-based CPU over here as well. And, and the fact it's built on ARM. So yeah, it's great to see this coming from your, uh, we call this a top secret lab, but certainly a, a lab no, where you're- <laughs> No, it's, it's actually not that top secret, right? <laughs> we are also inviting, of course, customers to this lab, you know, yeah. in order to experience, you know, and um, what we're able to demonstrate and showcase, not only from, a, should I say, from a pure cloud run perspective, mm -hmm. because you can see here also shielded box where the where the UEs are located. So uh, we're also testing here, for instance, the open frontal to, to some extent. So right. in order to show and demonstrate, you know, what Nico said before, that we have an open architecture. Mm. And then, so what are you showing off in this bit of the uh, of the demo here, then, Miko? So here we are bringing up the cells. So basically, bring up the software stack uh, running on on ARM ARM based CPU. So awesome. here you can see that the cell is up, and now we are actually doing this L two call. So you and this can is where we'll see the figures that, uh, that yeah, Thomas mentioned exactly, just now. Exactly. Exactly. So soon you will see, you know, how the call is in progress. So. There, so it's initializing. Right, now. There so, we go. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So full five G speed. Yeah. So impressive results. Very impressive. Very impressive results. That's awesome. And it's all built on ARM technology, which yes. is super, super cool to uh, to see. And we'll talk a bit more about that. Uh, we'll talk about that bit more in a second. That's awesome. All righty. So let's go. Well, let's change cameras back. Thank you, uh, camera operator, mobile camera operator, for helping us with that. And uh, there we go. We're now back on the uh, on the main camera. So let's get back to where we were originally set up again. Um, <laughs> So, you know, I'd love to talk a bit more. Obviously, we've talked about how this is a built on ARM technology. Thomas, on your side, why did you choose to build the inline acceleration solution on, on ARM? Could you share any insight into that? Yeah, of, of, of course. You know, first of all, the most important thing is uh, performance, power efficiency, and having the ability to scale, right? Because yep. it's not only part of our Cloud Run solution, we're also using it, you know, in the classical run. And this brings in a, a lot of advantages you know, when we talk about performance feature parity, right? So customers don't need to compromise, you know, in, in the deployment model, either on the CSP or in the, in the enterprise domain. Awesome, awesome. And it's that great collaboration of the ecosystem, of the ARM ecosystem that's made this possible as well between HPE and yourselves and, and Nokia. So, you know, from, from your side, are there any, between yourselves, are there any real world deployment experiences or success stories using this inline acceleration technology? Actually, let's start with yourself again, Tom, if that's okay, and then we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll no, jump no, no in worries, there. No worries, no worries, no worries. Yeah, actually, we did a lot of uh, proof of concept and tried throughout 2023, right? When we launched this um, any run concept at Mobile Working with a year ago, right? You know, we said, hey, uh, we would like to move forward with proof of concept and try it together with, with our partners using these collaborative advantages. But now, actually, we have made great pro uh, progress, for instance, you know, with one customer in Finland, right? Oh, wow. Where we actually also went commercial. 
of course, not large scale, but it actually it shows already, you know, that we're able to deliver on our promises. You know, it gives a proof point for this any run concept. Absolutely. And Mika, on your side, do you have anything further to add to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we really look we really enjoy working with Nokia in this proof of concept and we are really looking forward to, for the commercial launch during this year. So I think it will, will be great success and will be really, uh, you know, bring the cloud run in reality. Absolutely. It's great to see the collaboration that the ARM ecosystem and yourselves have made happen. So, so thank you for that. You know, before we, we'll get to a couple more questions now, I'd love to talk a bit more about, you know, the evolution. We've got 5G, we talked about 6G, you know, all these new net network standards. As you look ahead, and, and we'll start with yourself, Mika, how does that collaboration between these two, how does that collaboration enable you to adopt these next generation radio technologies, which are super exciting? How does that collaboration enable you to adopt those? I think I think the collaboration is critical. So we have the openness, uh, we have the inline adapter, uh, the accelerator, we have the super powerful ARM CPU, yeah. uh, and all that enables the innovation. So you can bring a lot of new software applications, uh, end user services on that architecture because it has the power to kind of grow and scale with the needs of uh, Chixty as well. Awesome. And, and Thomas, on your yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. I can only I can only add what 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 Nico just said, right? It's um, actually the the arm based technology, then the smart NIC curve, the the server technology as such. And you're hundred percent right. Five G advanced and six yeah. G are on the doorstep. Yeah. Right. We need to develop this even further, right? And not you know, and and what we are currently thinking of is um, developing it also further in the area of programmable networks. You know, improving life cycle management, zero touch provisioning, mm -hmm. right? It's a very important topic, you know, yep. we need to address. And of course, we would like to make the entire cloud run solution 5G advanced, 6G capable in the terms of performance and low latency. So we also need to think of, you know, bringing a solution out there which can actually operate at the edge, right? In order to address yep. exactly these very demanding performance and latency requirements. Absolutely, absolutely. And before we wrap up, of course, you can't talk about Mobile World Congress without talking about AI, uh, and I'd love to talk a bit more about that. You know, when you look at the, the AI landscape and the solution that you built today, how does this technology you're both building enable operators, let's focus on the operator side of it, to take advantage of AI and, and all its potential? Maybe starting with yourself, Nico. Yeah, how I see it is that one of the demands of the edge is really power efficiency, uh, high performance, and working with ARM and Nokia, it really makes it possible for us to bring AI at the edge because we can uh, do the processing and the competing in a much more slower, more smaller footprint, more power efficiency. So, so that gives space to develop AI at the edge. In addition to that, the open platforms bring possibilities to bring different AI related accelerators on the edge as well which is Absolutely. not possible uh, otherwise. Absolutely. It's really exciting to see how ARM makes that possible. And, and maybe yourself, Thomas, to throw you Yeah, maybe, maybe a short addition. You know, AI, when I'm thinking about AI, um, I'm, I can also think of them um, making it more predictable. Right. right. Predictable in the sense of, as you just said, what, what performance is actually needed. How do we become even more power efficient, you know, from, an, from a silicon perspective, but also from an end-to-end -end solution perspective. Yeah. So let's use these AI advantages, you know, exactly in this, in this context. Exactly, exactly. It's great to hear how the ARM technology combined with your amazing specialities and your incredible innovation has made this possible. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add to the audience joining us today? Yeah, hey, um, let's join us here at Mobile World Congress, right? Absolutely. It's so exciting to be here, right? I was already last year, they're on stage with HPE, but you know, we can already see, you know, with ARM, HPE, that the AnyRun concept resonates actually extremely well. That at least what I experienced at our booth, so please join us as Mobile World Congress. But um, I also would like to welcome you, you know, being here at HPE. Thank you. And, and just very quickly before you, where is the where is the Nokia booth? <laughs> For anyone who hasn't seen it, where is the Nokia booth at MWC? Quite, quite easy, you know, on the opposite direction. So in the <laughs> same hall. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Hall three, come and see them. And yourself, Vico. Yeah, I mean, thank you for this opportunity. And uh, everybody, welcome to the ASP booth. So we have great technology show here. Um, very, has been really, really pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to see this awesome arm power demo and really, really great. So super excited. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Arm Tech Talk. Uh, well, that concludes another Arm Tech Talk live from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. As I said, we're live every day discovering the latest innovations at the show, all based on Arm. So make sure you've subscribed to our Arm YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our talks. 
thank you again, Thomas. Thank you again, Mika, for Thanks a fantastic for Arm Tech Talk. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and as we continue to discover how the future of infrastructure and indeed the future of AI really is being built on Arm, a Mobile World Congress 2024 here in Barcelona. See you again soon. Thank you so much.